Richardson and I'm here to take you through your workout today. So come on back behind your chairs. We're going to get started. Good morning on this, well today's a rainy day. Hopefully the sun will come out later. So you're standing up nice and tall. Your abdominals are pulled in nice and tight throughout this class. Your shoulders are rolled back and down and we're pumping those arms. Okay, we're just marching. We're going to warm it up for a few minutes and then we'll get right into the cardio portion. Make sure those abdominals are pulled in. We're going to go side to side. So side to side, just side touch, touching, swinging those arms. Good. Warming it up. Kick those heels. Hands go to the hips. Standing up nice and tall. Try not to sludge forward. Try to stay up nice and tall here. Good. Point those toes now and touch the floor. So don't touch it with a flat foot. You want to actually point the toe. It warms up the foot. It makes the foot go up and down. Gets those muscles used to working. Gets the ankles used to working. Good. Okay, side to side with the knees. So we're bending one knee, straightening the other. Keep your chest up. We're stretching those outer thighs and those inner thighs doing this. Good. All right, bring those feet together. You're standing up nice and tall. Feet are underneath the hips. Roll those shoulders back. Roll those shoulders. Big exaggerated rolls. Good. Now add your elbow into it. So exaggerate with the elbow. Stretch through that upper back and the shoulder area. Good. Now long arms, big arms, big range of motion, as high as you can make the hands. Last one, lead that down, one arm forward, one arm back, palm faces down, we are going to backstroke here. So you're twisting through the torso, getting a nice range of motion with those arms up nice and high, stretching out those shoulders. Let's go forward with it now. Go forward. So we're swimming forward. It's nice and slow and controlled. We are not Michael Phelps in the Olympics. We are just taking it nice and easy. All right, last one. Leave those arms down. Elbows come out wide. I want you to twist. Twist through that torso. You've got your abdominals pulled in and contracted here so that you're supporting your lower back as we twist side to side. Good. All right, bring those elbows back down. We're going to have you bring your feet a little wider. We're going to reach. Reach. Trying to reach that hand up nice and high towards the ceiling and stretch the sides here. Stretch the obliques on the side of the back. Good. Last one. Bring those hands down. Hands come here. Circle the rest. Stretch it all out. Get it all used to it. Really good. Change direction. Nice. Roll the fingers. Get it all warmed up. All right. Shake it out. Shake it out. Bring those feet together. Right foot comes up off the floor. Ankle circles here. I'll come to the side so you can see it better. Ankle circles. Stretching out that foot. Go the other way. Change direction. Good. Put that foot down. I want you to roll it heel to toe. Heel to toe. Nice. Shake it out. Shake it out. Other side comes up. Ankle circles here. Go the other way. Change direction. Nice. Put that foot down. Roll it heel to toe. Shake it out, shake it out. One more thing, arms are out wide. I want you to round your shoulder blades. Push that chest out, open up that chest. Round the shoulder blades, open it up. Two more times, round, open it up. One more time, round, and open it up, and bring it down. All right, big deep breath in, fill those lungs up all the way. Exhale. 
exhale completely. One more deep breath in. Blow it all out. Nice job. Okay, we're going to start marching. So here's the cardio portion. Stay near your chair if you need to be near the chair for some reason, for some stability. Otherwise, find some space. There's plenty of room. We are marching. We're keeping our shoulders back and down, chest is up high, abdominals are contracted. The first section, we're going to start with the right foot. That's going to be your lead. The first step is going to be the B step. So remember, the B step looks like the letter B. You go wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Right leg is going to go first. Let's go now. So wide, wide, back together. So this is the top of the B and the bottom of the B. You could do no arms. You could do wide arms like this, or you could bring your arms up high. You could do this. Lots of choices here. Go at your own pace. Good. Step touch to the right now. Swing your arms, and you just step touch side to side with the feet. Good. Arms are moving. You're standing up nice and tall. Good. The grapevine's coming next. We're going to the right. Grapevine right now. It's side, back, side, together. Side, back, side, together. If this is too much, you can just do two steps each way. It'll get you to the same place. Two steps. One more each way. Touch that right heel front. Hands up. Hands up. So it goes right, left. You're just touching the heel in front. Good. Kick that right heel back. Hands down. So you're kicking those heels up. Don't have to do the arms if you don't want to. And march. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Same thing all over again. Left leg leads. Let's go now. B step. Y, Y, back. Again, you can do no arms. You could do arms out wide, or you could do arms up high. Good. So it's forward wide, forward wide, back together, back together. Wide, wide, back. Good. One more. Wide, wide. Step touch to the left. Swing those arms. Step touch those feet. You're looking good. Great bind to the left now. Side, back, side, together. Side, back, side. Good. Touch that left heel front. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Good. Four, three, two. Kick that left heel back. Hands down. Hands down. Again, the hands are optional. You don't have to do them. Good. And march. Right, left. Right, left. One more time with that section. The B step is the first step. Right foot goes now. Y. Y. Back. Good. Y. Nice. Two more like this. This will be our last one. Wide, wide. Step touch to the right. Swing those arms. Make sure your abdominals are pulled in nice and tight. Great bind to the right now. Side, back, side, together. Side, back, side, together. Good. We've got two more each way. Good. One more now. Good. Touch that right heel front. Hands up. Hands up. Touching the heels. Right, left. Good. Kick that right heel back. Hands down. Hands down. Right, left. Four, three, two, and march. Right, left. Right, left. Okay, second section. We're going to start with the hustle step. The hustle step is one, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, touch. Right leg's going to lead first. In four, three, Two, go now. One, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, touch. Good. Make sure you're pumping those arms if you can. Get that heart rate up. That's the point of this. One more. Good. Scoop to the right. Scooping is just step touching and doing these scoopy little arms. That's my very technical term for these arms. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Right knee up now, so it's right knee, left knee. Use your abdominals to get those knees up. Good. Hand jive now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Little marches while you do this. Good. We've got one more. Good. 
Tap your right toe out to the side. Tap. You can add the jab if you want to. You don't have to. It's more about the tapping. Switch to the left foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Fever to the right. It's two steps. Pointing those fingers up and down. Channel your inner John Travolta. This is what he would do. Saturday Night Fever. One more each way. Good. And march. Left, right, left, right. Okay, hustle section again. Left foot leads. Go now. One, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, touch. So remember, it's just one, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, touch. Pump in those arms. One more. Good. Scoop to the left now. So step touching with the feet, scooping with the arms. Four, three, two. Add the left knee up. Left knee, right knee. If you want to add arms to make it more challenging, you could do this. Hand jive now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. Five, six, two more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Tap your left toe out to the side. Tap, tap. You don't have to do the jab, but you can. Good. Switch to the right now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Fever to the left. One, two. Back the other way. You can put a little hip action into it if you want to, like John Travolta would have. Good. One more each way. Nice. And march. Right, left, right, left. One more time with the hustle section. The right leg's going to go first. Go now. One, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, touch. John Travolta probably did the hustle too. I'm sure he did. One more. Good. Scoop to the right now. Scoop. Step touch with those scoopy arms. Four, three, two. Right knee up now. Hands up if you want, but focus on your abdominals. Squeeze to get that knee up. Hand jive now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six. Two more times. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Tap that right toe out to the side. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Four more. Four, three, two. Switch to the left now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Fever to the right. One, two. Good. One more each way. Nice. March right, right, left. Okay, we've done both sections. Now we're gonna do it one time through. Right leg's gonna be the lead the entire time. We'll do the first section once, second section once, and then we're done cardio in eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three. B step now. Y, Y, back together. Well, you could be up here with your arms. Or you could do no arms. Y, Y, back. We've got one more. Up, oh, up. Oh. Good step. Touch to the right. Swing those arms. You're looking good. Great bind to the right now. Side, back, side, together. Side, back, side. Good. Good. Do it two more times each way. Work hard. This is the only thing you're probably going to do today like this. I lied. Two more. Good. One more now. Good. Touch that right heel front. Hands up if you want. Touch. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Kick that right heel back now. Push it down. Push it down. Good. Four. Three. Two. March right. Right, left, right, left. Hustle on the right now. One, two, three, touch. Back, two, three, touch. Now while you're doing this, you're thinking about your abdominals, right? Because they're pulled in, they're nice and tight. Yes, they are. Scoop to the right now. Scoop, 
scoop. Step touch into those scooping arms. Four, three, two. Lift that right knee up. No arms if you want, or you can add the arms. Four, three, two. Hand jive now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. We've got two more times. Five, six, one more time. Tap that right toe out to the side. Tap, tap, tap. Good, four more, four, three, two. Switch your feet now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Fever to the right. One, two, back the other way. Good. Big steps, pointing those arms up and down. Nice, one more each way. Good, and march. Little marches, baby marches, big deep breath in. And blow it out. Big deep breath in, fill up those lungs, and blow it out. Okay, get a sip of water if you need to. Stay standing or walk for a minute if you need to. When you're ready, you want to sit down, and we're going to start with one weight to start. One weight. Okay, when you are ready, you're grabbing your one weight. You're sitting all the way back in your chair. You're sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are back and relaxed. Your abdominals are pulled in nice and tight here. We're going to chop some wood today. So you're going to start with the weight up here. You're going to bring it all the way up, twisting through your obliques, pulling in here in the abdominals, and then you're going to bring the weight down to the hip. Try to follow the weight with your eyes if you can. It'll give you more work for your oblique section here. If it makes you a bit dizzy, don't do that. You can keep your head facing straight. But we're going to go up to the right, down to the left, and then we'll switch sides, go down to the up to the left, and down to the right. To tall, pull those abs in, bring it up and down, up. So squeeze those abdominals in each time you twist. Good. Sitting up tall. Don't let your back sort of round forward. Try to keep it up nice and straight. Good. Up and down. We've got three more. Up. Down. Good. Twisting and squeezing in those abdominals. We've got one more. Up and down. Nice job. Last one. Shake it out if you need to. We're going to go up to the left now, down to the right. Pulling those abs in each time you twist. Bring it up and down to the hip. Up as high as you can reach it. Down. Good. You want to protect your back here. So again, make sure those abs are tight. Up and down. Up and down. You've got three more now. Up and down. Up and down. That was our last one. Come on, back to center. Roll it out. Roll the shoulders. Loosen everything up. Okay, you want to grab both weights now. Both weights. We're going to do some bicep work next. So, weights are going to be right here facing forward. Elbows are glued into the side of your body. You're sitting up tall. We're going to alternate sides the first time. Just bring it up on the right, all the way down. So you're squeezing that bicep now on the left. Bring it up on the right again. Bring it up and down. Good. Bring it up nice and slow. Your elbows are glued to the side. So my arms aren't moving like this. My elbows stay at my sides. Look at the difference. See, it's like there's super glue there. My elbows are not moving around at all, so I can really focus on the bicep. Up and down. Keep going. Up, you're stabilizing through your abdominals so you don't rock around. Up. Now we're going to do both at the same time. So bring them up and down. Up and down. Nice job. Think about what's working here. Those biceps are working. That muscle is squeezing the weight up, lowering it down slowly. Four more like this. And down. Bring it up. And if you smile, it helps. Makes you feel better about it. Makes it easier. Last one. Now bring it up halfway and just pulse it. Little pulses. Little pulses. My elbows are at 90 degrees. 
My wrists are out in front of the elbows, so they're in line. There's no incline. It's like a straight line that my, my arm is resting on a table almost. That's how straight it is. Eight more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Let the weights come down. Let the weights pull on your fingers. Palms face forward. Just to stretch that bicep out for a moment. Then stretch it out. Okay, I want you to put one weight down. Keep one weight with you. We are going to do an overhead press next. The weight's going to come here. You're going to push it up. If it bothers you to go straight overhead, you can go in front of the forehead and come back like this. So make sure you're sitting tall. Always nice and tight here. Weight to the right hand. Start to the right shoulder. Load it there. You're pushing it up and down. Push it up. And down. Keep going. Or you can be going in front of the forehead. A little less pressure on the shoulder joint. Go out. Now we're going to change the rhythm. Up for three, down one. Slow, 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 and down. Good. You may really get stabilized with the abdominals so you don't rock around because we're using one side here. Now go up one, down three. Up, slow, slow. Three more like this. Up, down, down, good. Up, good. Got one more. Up, down, down. Nice job. Last one. Put that weight in your lap. Let's stretch that shoulder out. So pull that arm and you just work across. Pull it in tight like you're giving it a big hug. Stretch it out. Good. And release it down. Shake it out if you need to. Okay, grab the weight in the left hand. Load it here. Sitting up tall, be aware of your posture. Bring it up and down. Come up and down. And if you go in front of the forehead, if it's too much to go straight overhead, it's okay for your muscles to feel burning. Go up three, down one. Go up. Burning is okay. Uncomfortable is okay. Pain is not. So if you ever feel pain with anything you do, you want to stop and not do that exercise because you shouldn't feel pain. But you need to know the difference. Up one, down three. So go up, down, down. Burning and uncomfortable means the muscles are working. Those are good things. But you don't want the pain. One more. Up, down, down. Nice job. Rest that weight in your lap. Hold it here. Give it a big hug. That arm. Stretch it out. Good. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, keep that weight with you. We're going to do tricep kickbacks next. So the tricep is the muscle right back here on the back of the arm. You're going to scoot a little forward on your chair. Your feet are about hip width apart. You want to hinge from your hip joints. Your hip joints here. You're hinging forward. Rest that left arm on that left leg. The right arm goes down long. My back is flat. I'm not rounded. I'm flat with my abs pulled in. We're going to lift the elbow up as high as we can get it. And then we're going to kick that lower arm back and forth. The upper arm doesn't move. Let's start. Bring it up. Kick. So my upper arm is not moving. Just that lower arm goes back and forth. We've got four more. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it forward and release it down. Let it hang there for a second. The other thing to make sure of is make sure your eyes are lowered looking at the floor. Your head's not dropped down, but your neck is in line with the spine, so the eyes stay on the floor. We're going to do that again. Pull your abs in. Bring the elbow up. Kick. Kick. Think about what's working here. That tricep is working. And mobilize that upper arm. We've got two more. Two. Last one. Bring it forward. Let it hang down. We are going to do one more step. One more step like that. So get back to the floor. Pull your abs in. The elbow comes up now. And kick it back. Back. Work that tricep. We've got four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it forward. Let it hang down there for a moment. Just stretch that out. Come all the way up. Put the weight in your lap again. Stretch it one more time. So you can hold it here again. Or if you want to bring the elbow up and pull the elbow, pull it back and behind your head gently. You're not pulling it too hard. 
I'm just trying to get a stretch. Nice, and then you're bringing that down. Grab the weight in the other arm. So set yourself up again. Feet are hip-width apart. Hinge forward from your hips with a flat back. Weight's down long in the left hand. Right forearm is resting on that right leg. Eyes are on the floor. I'm going to do eight each time three times. Let's bring it up. So bring it up and kick. That upper arm is not moving, and that elbow's up as high as I can get it. We've got four more. Four. Three. Focusing on that tricep. Two. Last one. Bring it forward. Let it hang down there now. Just stretch it out for a second. Set yourself up. Pull your abs in. Bring the elbow up. Kick. Kick. Good job. You look good. Four more. Four, three, two, last one, bring it forward, let it hang down, we are going to do one more set. It's okay to take a break at any point if you need to, if you think I can't do this anymore, put your weight down, do it.
all out, shake it all out. Okay, come on back behind the chair. We're going to work that outer thigh area. So you're standing with your feet about hip width apart. When you lift up your leg, make sure you don't tilt your body to do it. It's not a high lift, it's a small lift. We've got a little bend in that left leg that's supporting us, a little bend in that knee. The right foot's flexed, you're standing up tall. Bring it out, out, down, down. It's nice and slow. Slow control. Bring it up. Make sure you're not arching your back at all. And you're nice and tight through the midsection. Up three down one. So go slow, 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 and down. Up, up. One down, three now. So up, slow, slow, good. Up, nice job. Two more. Up, slow, slow, one more. Up, slow, slow, nice job. Rock your hips side to side. Okay, grab one weight, stay on the right side. We're going to do a little more shoulder work. So you're going to have your feet about hip width apart. You're going to stand. Your abdominals pulled in, little bend in those knees. We're going to bring the weight forward to shoulder height, turn the palm front, and then you're going to bring it out to the side. So that's the movement. It's forward, and then it's out to the side. You've got to stabilize so you don't rock around. Shoulders are down. Bring it up and down. Turn your palm front. Out and down. Turn it to the side now. Up. So only go to shoulder height. Don't go higher than your shoulder. You're compromising that shoulder joint then. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to do too much for it. We're trying to strengthen it, not hurt it. Turn it in. Forward. Front. Out. Good. You can fold the chair if you need some stability. Or you can have the hand on the hip. Either way, you're using your back and your abdominals to really hold your core nice and tight here. Keep yourself stable. You're not rocking around. Good. Two more each way. Tank top season is coming. We have to have nice, strong shoulders, don't we? Bring it out to the side. That's your last one. Put that weight down on the chair for now. You're going to use it again. Shake it up, shake it out. Okay, a little bit of balance work here. Hold on to the chair to start. Bring that foot out in front. Arm is out to the side. You're going to bring it overhead. Pull your abdominals in, which means pull your belly button back towards your spine. Find a spot to stare at that doesn't move. So don't look at me, look at something else. A spot on the floor or something like that. When you're ready, bring your other arm up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one nice job. Shake it out. That's tough. That's tough stuff. Okay, I want you to tap that left toe closest to the chair. We're going to stretch out the angle. It's going to do a lot of work stabilizing us. Go side to side with the tongue now. Tap it side to side. Good. Now pick up that foot. Angle circles here. Angle circles. Go the other way. Change direction. Stretch it out. Put that foot down, roll the heel to toe. Roll the heel to toe. Two more. Roll. Last one. Nice job. Shake it out. Okay, come on to this side now. We've got to do it all over again. Okay, left side, standing crunches. Little bend in that right knee. Your arm is up. You're bringing the elbow to the knee. Each time you move, we're squeezing in here. You're pulling the abdominals in. Let's bring it in. We're doing eight all together right here, and then we're going to switch arms. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch arms if you want. You don't have to. This requires a little bit more stability. It's okay to stay on that same arm. We've got four more. Squeeze in. Pull that belly button. Two more. Pull. Last one. Shake it all out. Grab your weight. We're going to do the shoulder raise where we go to the front and we go to the side. So your feet are hip width apart. You're standing tall. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Abdominals are in. Bring it up. Shoulder height is as high as you go. And out. Good. Bring it up. Turn your palm to face the front. 
Exhale out, so you're stabilizing your body, so you're not rocking around doing this. Work those core muscles. Turn it in. Front. Good. Turn it out. You look great. Good form, everybody. And up. We're doing two more each way. Nice and slow and controlled. Don't let gravity take it down for you. You're controlling. That's your last one. Nice job. Put that weight down. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Okay. A little stability down towards his neck. So hold on to that chair to start. Bring that left foot up straight in front of you. Arms out. Find your spot that you're going to stare at. You're pulling the abdominals in. Arm goes all the way up. When you're ready, let go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on now. Good job. We're better on the left today than we were on the right. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Okay. I want you to tap that right toe. The one closest to the chair. Good, go side to side. Nice. Okay, you have that foot in the circle. In the circle. Good. Show the other way to change direction. Good, put that foot down. Roll it with the toe. Shake it up. Now, I bet you forgot, thought I forgot to do the outer thigh on the left side. We're going to do it now because I forgot for a second. So, come on, stand here. A little bend in that right knee. Left foot is flexed. You're standing up nice and tall. Go back to the side. Bring it up and down. So, you're not bending your body like this to get that leg up. You're staying tall. You're bringing it up as high as you can comfortably. We want it to get worked. Now, we're going to go up and down one. So, slow, slow, slow. And down, up, 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 and down, up, contracting right here, pulling it in tight, up, up, now up one, down three, so up, slow, slow, good, up, slow, slow, good, two more, up, down, down, one more, up, down, down, nice job, rock your hips side to side. So stretch those outer thighs out. Okay, when you are ready, I want you to sit back down. No weights. Just sit on down. You're going to come towards the front of the chair. We're going to do some low back strengthening here. So you're towards the front. Most of your legs are hanging off the chair here. Your feet are wide like the letter V. Hands are going to go to the hips. You are going to hinge forward from your hip joint. Working that lower back region, you've got to make sure you've got your abdominal muscles pulled in nice and tight and contracted so you support that back. It's going to be nice and slow forward, nice and slow back up. So we're going forward, eyes look down towards the floor, and then you come back up to straight. Don't go back any further than straight. You just want to be nice and upright. Working that lower back gently. So you go forward. Hinge from your hips. Make sure you're not bending at the waist here. That's why you want your hips nice and your legs nice and wide. Makes it easier to hinge forward from that hip joint. Good. We've got four more. Abs are nice and tight, right? Three more. Two more. a little further back in the chair, not all the way. I want you to roll down to as far as you can get to. So whether that's your shins, your ankles, laces, the floor, and we're going to stretch that lower back. This should feel good. If this hurts, don't do this. Come on back up. Take a big deep breath in and blow it out. Take another deep breath in. And blow it out. You should feel your low back relaxing and releasing while we do this. One more deep breath. And blow it out. 
Good. Take your right hand, put it to your right leg. Left hand to the left leg. Tuck your chin and roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. When you come up, if you get a little light on your just take a moment to you get your bearings and we'll come back. But sometimes when you come up and down, it feels that way. We're going to stand up in front of the chair. We're going to do chair squats. So I want you to be right in front of your chair. If you don't want to go all the way down to the chair, you don't have to. You're going to cross your arms here. When you come up from the chair, you're going to push up through your heels and squeeze your glutes. That's your butt. Squeeze your glutes right here. So you're holding here. You've got your abdominals in tight. You're going to go down and up. So let's go down and drive up through the heels. Squeeze the glutes. Down. Squeeze. And down. Squeeze, good. Down and squeeze. Nice job. Down, good. Down three, up one. So it's slow, slow, slow. Push up. Down, down, down. Push up. So you're pushing up through those heels, right? Squeeze the glutes here. Down, down, good. Two more like this. Down, down, down. Push up. Down. Now we're going down one, up three. So down, up, up, squeeze, down, up. And we've got four more, we're done with these. Up, three more, down, up, two more now, down, up, squeeze, down, up. Nice job, shake it all out, shake it all out. Okay, let's sit down now. We're going to grab one weight. This is our last thing. One weight. So you're going to scoot forward. You're going to do some forearm work here. So I'm going to have you hinge forward. You're going to rest that right forearm on that leg. Right hand down low. We're going to do little curls. You're holding that arm so it will move around here. So we're bringing up and down. Up. We're building this forearm muscle up right here. This is the muscle that really helps you in open the refrigerator. When you're pulling on half gallons of milk or down your milk at orange juice, or whatever you've got in your refrigerator, it's kind of under the grass when you've got to pull it out. You've got three more. You've got to make sure those forearms are strong too. Last one, let it hang down there. So let the weight hang down those fingers and stretch out the whole hand and the wrist area. It should feel good to stretch it. Good. Come on up, put that weight in your lap. You're going to pull back on those fingers gently. Just trying to stretch out the hand and the wrist a little bit more. Good. Turn it the other way. Feel that nice stretch. Good. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. The other side. So left forearm is resting on that left leg. The hands down low. The right hand is holding that arm so it's not moving around at all. Little curls the back wrist, so bring it up and down, up and down, up. Good.
you will eventually lose that ability to do it. So we want to really practice stretching out those shoulders, getting our arms up there, not losing that motion. Come on, come on. So we're going to do two more of these. Bring it up. One more. Now. So stay seated. We're going to stretch our neck first. I'm going to have you look over your right shoulder. Getting a nice stretch on the left side here when you do it. And come on back to center. Now look over that left shoulder. Getting a stretch on the right side now. Again, don't hold your shoulder at all. You may find that you're tighter on one side than the other. That's an indication that you should probably stretch it a little bit more because you're tight on one side. You're stretching it throughout the day. And bring it back up. Now you're going to lower your eyes to look at your lap and shake your head no slowly. This is releasing the muscles in the back of your neck. Alright, let's stop shaking now, bring your eyes back up. Now I want you to press your left leg over your right. If you can't cross the leg, cross the ankle. That's perfectly fine too. So either the leg or the ankle, take the right hand on the outside of that left leg, left hand's on the back of the chair, and you're going to twist through the torso to the left. This should feel really good on your back and on the obliques if you want. It should feel good. You can stretch them. Again, if you have any pain or any of these stretches, don't do them. Stop that stretch. If you want to have pain, it should feel pain tight, um, but it should feel like a stretch, not pain. Come on back to center, uncross, cross the other side, either the ankle or the leg. Left hand goes on the outside of that right leg, right hand's on the back of the chair, and you're twisting through the torso, looking to the right. behind the chair. Feet are about hip width apart. Your right hand's on the right hip. Left hand's going to reach up and over. Stretching through those other knees right there again. One more stretch here to the side. Make sure you're not holding your breath. You want to take a nice stretch throughout this to relax. Bring it down, other side. Reach up tall with that hand. Get a nice stretch down the side here. And bring it back down. I want you to take your right toe, put it on the chair leg. Left he right heel is on the floor. You're going to sit down into this a little and then push that left hip out to the side a little. Press your right heel down into the floor. You should feel a stretch of the calf and in the hamstring, the back of the right leg here. So toe is on the chair leg. Heel is on the floor, you sat down into it a little bit, push that left hand out to the side, push that right heel down into the floor. Feel that stretch, it should feel good. You have a little bit of a bend in that right knee, not too much, but a little bit of a bend. I know, it's a long stretch, right? But we're going to stretch the hamstrings because they're tight. They're tight a lot because we sit a lot, so that really tightens them up. So you want to stretch them throughout the day. Come on up, other side. Left toe is on the chair leg, heel is on the floor. Sit down into it, push that right hip out to the side, press that 
left heel down into the floor. Get that stretch of the calf and the hamstring. The hamstring's the muscle in the back of the leg here, the back of the leg. Again, this shouldn't feel pain. It should just feel maybe tight. And you feel that stretch, which is good. Stretching out the back of that leg. Pushing that heel down into the floor. Good. Come on up slowly. All right. Bring the arms out to the side. We're going to round the shoulder blades. Push that chest down. Round the shoulder blades. Push that chest out two more times. Round that upper back. Push that chest out. Open up the pectoral muscles. Round one more time. Open it up. And bring it down. Hands come here. Circle the wrist. Good. Go the other way. Change direction. All right, bring your fingers out wide. We're going to tap the thumbs with each finger. So pointer, middle, ring, pinky. Pinky, ring, middle, pointer. Again, pointer, middle, ring, pinky. Pinky, ring, middle, pointer. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, hands come down low. Big deep breath in. Inhale all the way. Throw those legs up completely. Exhale. Big deep breath in. One more, last one. Big deep breath in. Palms to the center. Exhale as you bring them down. Great job, everybody. Good job. Thank you for coming.